Hi folks, Chris here with Solar Sphere. Wanted to answer some uh, customer questions that we get quite a bit. And uh, one of the top ones is uh, usually how many solar panels do I need? Um, and I uh, wanted to just go over why this really isn't quite the right question. Um, first of all, solar panels have a wide range of wattages. Uh, we have uh, solar panels that are two and a half watts uh, all the way up to solar panels that are um, 300 watts. So asking how many solar panels you need to run your house or to run whatever you're trying to run isn't really the right question. What you really want to find out is your total wattage um, that you'll need. And we've got an easy way to do that on my solar site here, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So you'll just go to spherosolar.com. I'm going to put a link for that in, in the description of the YouTube video here. Um, just click through to that. That's S-P-H-E-R-A-L S-O-L-A-R dot com. And you'll see this site. And you'll see my little welcome video. There's me. We can You can just hide that video if you don't want to get my welcome video. And then uh, you can click on Solar Power Kits. Um, and any of these three options is going to help you uh, determine what you need. So we have DIY solar kits, which are really sort of um, smaller kits that you assemble yourself. Grid tie solar kits, which are big kits that power your entire house. And then plug and play solar kits are smaller kits which don't really require much assembly at all. You just literally plug and play. But any of these will take you um, to the next page. And this red line you'll see at the top here will take you to our solar power kit selector hoping you can see my mouse here. Uh, in the solar power kit selector, we have two options here. And this will help you determine how many solar panels or how much solar power wattage you need. And the top one is if you really want a grid tie system. If you're trying to power your house as it is, um, this top option is great for you here. And this just walks you through step by step. So you could put in your zip code here <clears throat> submit we'll just use this one here um, and this will walk you through step by step the process of determining how much solar you need okay um, and this will take into account where you are and how much your utility bill is and that kind of thing so that's the first option for um, estimating how much solar power you need. The second option, and I'm just hitting the back button here, down here, is really for when you have no power at this place that you're trying to um, power. Maybe it's an off-grade cabin, maybe it's just a little light set where there's no power, maybe it's um, just you just need a little kit to power something, a uh, shed or something like that. And this is for an off-grid system, really, okay? So here's where you need to know the wattage of what you're powering. Maybe, uh, let's say we're powering some lights and some tools in a shed. And we determine we're going to use high efficiency lighting, which is going to help reduce our total solar needs because high efficiency lighting uses a lot less power. So maybe we need uh, two 10 watt um, LED lights, which, so that would be 20 watts and we need it for four hours a day. And then we want to run some power tools, which are 150 watts. And then we're going to run that probably just two hours a day. So that's going to do the math for us. And that brings us down and tell, shows us right here that it's 380 watt hours. That watt hours number is what we need. And you can do this, you can do this for your entire home. If you want to do, if you want to take your entire home off the grid, you just need the watt hour number from your power bill. Uh, it'll actually probably show it as KWHR on your power bill. That's kilowatt hours. So if you take your kilowatt hours times a thousand, that will be the actual watt hours. You go on to step two, and we look and see this is really the zone 
the solar zone. Obviously, if you're in Alaska, you don't have as much sunshine as the people in Arizona do. So you want to um, account for that. And the sun hours is how we do that. So you can see this bright red here is kind of where I am in, in uh, Colorado. Um, and that's, that's going to be 5 to 5.9 sun hours. And so we put, let's say, let's just say 5.5 there. It's going to put that in there. And so the approximate kit size we need, as you can see here, is 99 watts. It's right at 100 watts. Okay. And now we're going to go to the next step. And now it, it'll show us, do we want plug and play kits? Or DIY kits, which is what I went over before. Do I want a really simple kit? Some of these kits are on wheels. Uh, you can see this one's an 80 watt kit. This is really close. This is an 80 watt kit. This is really close to what I need for that scenario we talked about before. Or if we go back to the DIY kits, these are going to be more affordable. Let's go to page two. Here's an 80 watt kit. And you can see some of these are almost half of what the plug and play kits are. So, and as always, if you don't see what you need on the website, I can build you anything. I can build you a kit of any size. I've powered, um, you know, construction sites or, uh, you know, entire houses off the grid. So, if you don't see it on the website, just email me, Chris, K R I S S, at solar sphere. Dot com sphere like a round ball s p h e r e um, chris at solar dash sphere dot com email me and I will uh, find the right kit for you but go through this process first please because that will help you understand what you're trying to power and how you know we're not going to tell you how many solar panels you need until we know what wattage you need um, we may decide to power your 300 watt system with um, six 50 watt panels or 300 watt panels. So asking how many solar panel, panels you need is not the, quite the right approach. Hopefully you understand what is the right approach now. And thanks for tuning in. Check out my other videos too on my YouTube channel, Off Grid Solar Guy. Thank you.